This is Rick from Value Accessories. Today we're going to show you the Spider RT adjustable luggage rack that we have available from Rivco. These come in both chrome and black. The actual popularity is about equal. We sell just about as many chrome as we do black, believe it or not. Uh, the black do look really good because it extends out the black that you see shown on the seat. You can see a good picture of it here. So to install your luggage on this, these actually have some really nice cutouts. You'll see cutouts at the front of the rack and at the back of the rack. Also, down below, you'll see cutouts here. This allows you to use bungee cords or the actual straps that come with your, your luggage that you, whichever you choose to put on here. So first of all, we're going to show you uh, a couple pieces of luggage and we're going to have to go and uh, we'll, what we'll do now is we'll loosen our retainer nuts and to do that you've got four nuts in the back, two on each side. All you do is just loosen these up, pull the rack out, and in this case we're going to put our pet palace on first. The pet palace is the perfect size to put on the rack when it's extended. That actual rack was designed specifically uh, in the extended position to put a pet palace on. So you'll see this pet palace looks really good on here, fits perfect, and you do have the uh, the retainer, the cutouts to put it on. So then we'll we'll take the pet palace off. We'll put another one of our racks, our luggage on this rack. This is from Tourmaster. It's a little bit smaller, so at this point in time, we'll push the rack in to the exact size that is needed, and then we'll tighten up our nuts. And you'll see that uh, we can go and install this very easily with the straps in back and the straps in front. To install this, what we're gonna do is the rack does come with templates so what you'll do is you'll cut out the template tape the template on the side of the trunk on your spider rt then you're going to mark where the uh, you're going to do the cuts or you to drill the pilot holes after you've got it marked you're going to take the templates off then you're going to have someone help you hold the rack up and make sure that's exactly perfect where you want it. After that, you will drill your pilot holes, then you're going to drill your larger holes. So then, after you get your holes drilled, you're going to go and hold the rack up, put the bolts through, the included bolts through, then on the inside, what you're going to find is you're going to use a, a bracket on the inside and both bolts are going to go through this, make sandwiching the outer and the inner shell of your trunk, making this a very, very strong uh, combination. And then you just use the included nylock nuts. So we'll close it again. Because it's it's really strong, we tell people the size luggage that you're going to put on there, it's going to be about 20 pounds. So you're not going to go and use a, a weak bag, a, a, you know, something that you're going to use for the whole week. You're just going to use an overnighter. And most people put either a dog carrier or they put a bag that they're going to put their clothes or some uh, their bike cover or helmet or possibly your coats and stuff like that in so there you have it the adjustable spider rt luggage rack from rivco available from value accessories